everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Last time, we got Makar here. Hey, little, little guy. I'm gonna I'm pick you up. Yay. And today, and now the Wind Temple, which is the longest temple and, the, and thankfully the last temple of this game. Let's go in, shall we? Oh, wait. For forgot my car. Anyway, uh, sorry. I was concentrating or some. I, I forgot that I was playing this game. Even this game, even like, even like now, I feel, oh, oh, hey, hey. Even now, uh, left. Center the dip boop Anyway, even now, like my sheer nervousness about going through this level is showing just because I forgot Oh whiz rope! That's a whiz rope. I forgot that I was doing a let's play. So I was just concentrating. Oh god, there's a whiz robe. This place has whiz robes. I forgot completely. Anyway, dirt patches in the ground. And here's a chest. Plant trees. And they're happy little trees. Look at them. They're happy little trees. Anyway. Yeah. Get up there, Makar. The world is not safe for you. Damn it. Hold on. Dice gum. That's one way. Okay. What do I get? <laughs> Wizard ropes can be one-shotted by the fire and ice arrow. Sorry, I am so quiet during this, and I do not know why. Anyway, these springs. They work like that. You weigh them down with the iron boots, and then once they're no longer weighed down by the iron boots, They launch you to the next platform. And, okay, I think, okay, hmm. I think I know what to do. Th this is, okay, whatever. Hey there, Stalfos! Anyway, even in the first room, this this temple is really getting to me. I think I psyched myself out, actually, by, by just talking about this temple, because I'm just... Oh, man. Oh, man. Anyway, there's the first warp. And what do I do? Oh. Oh. Let's see. But Makar... Okay, so I can't get through those things just yet. But Makar can... But I can take Makar here and tell him to press the button. If you noticed, there was a button up, up there. And we need to press it. Yay! And now, stay there. 
and I will come after you. I should really have... Ah, I have Grandma Soup, I'm okay. But it does really... But it does really help to stock up on potion... On, uh... Yeah, magic... The, the, the magic potions. Because you're going to be using them a lot here. I really like that there's a little shadow telling you where you're landing. That's really neat. Go. Come, come little buddy. There's more of the temple that awaits. More puzzles. Got that one. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Not so hard, not so hard at all. And here's a wind switch, if I could aim it correctly. And perhaps Makar will be of some use. If I can remember the melody. Or if I just look down after the gamepad. Really, they did make the best use of the gamepad that they did in this in this game. Oh. Oh, boy. Okay. Patches of dirt. Now it makes sense. It makes sense that he has to jump up, jump. Look at the happy tree. He has to jump to the steps because he's tiny and he doesn't really have legs. He has like just little stumps. He's so cute. <laughs> and yay. Okay, so the heart, the mind bending puzzles aren't. Oh. Okay, I don't understand what I just did there, but that, what did I, oh, I just, I just normalized the roof. Okay, oh, and this is where the, this is where it gets hard, okay. Okay, little guy, I'm not going to be able to use you for a while. At least it sort of, it doesn't really teach you. Like, the King of Red Lines doesn't right out tell you, Hey, dirt patches, you know. I guess that was what he was talking about, the roll, about a roll, you know. But he has a roll. Well, he's bringing power back to the Master Sword. But he has a roll in this dungeon, and that's what uh, the King of Red Lines was talking about. Whatever. Whatever. And this is great and all, but I don't see how these, like, these trees will trigger something. Yeah. Oh, boy. No. No. Makar. Makar, no. Don't worry. That was supposed to happen. Yes. Completely supposed to happen. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda, uh, The Wind Waker, let's rescue our little buddy, shall we? Haha. <laughs> oh boy.